This video is to introduce people to the uh, lithium iron insight conversion devices which I sell. Um, I'm going to just talk you through those briefly. This is for those contemplating a lithium iron conversion in the Mark I um, Insight. I've done several of these as you'll have seen on the forum and there are very extensive threads about my past conversions and conversions by other newer members. However, for those who don't actually want to do a lithium conversion but are fed up with the nickel metal hydride pack failures, then this is uh, one option. This is the ECM fooler I supply, which um, fakes ECM signals to the ECM from the MCM and allows complete removal of the IMA system and uh, disabling the check engine light, etc. Basically, it signals that everything's okay in the rear compartment. It's very simple, four wires and comes with a pick there, that's all that's needed. Now, if you want to completely remove the IMA, then with the addition of a three-phase rectifier and a meanwhile power supply, you can completely remove all of the IMA systems and just revert to petrol engine only. Now, going back to the lithium system, uh, in order to fully utilize the lithium system, you're gonna need some basic equipment. One of the first things you're going to need is the OBD2 CNC. And this is a one modified for IMA CNC manual IMA control, as you can see here, the little joystick. Um, you're going to need one of these. The Honda systems are able to be interrogated with this device. It can provide you with extensive information about what's going on with your system and also allows you manual control with, of the IMA CNC when combined with the modified MCM. So moving swiftly on to the modified MCM, in order for manual control to be available, you have to fit a small... Um, circuit board inside the MCM. I do provide uh, ready converted MCMs if you want or you can save yourself a hundred dollars by doing the conversion yourself. It's only a small number of wires and the modification to the MCM is extensively covered on my YouTube video channel. So that's the chip that goes inside the MCM for manual RMA control. So now we get down to uh, increasing the power from your lithium conversion. If you've done a lithium conversion, you're probably definitely going to want to get more power out of it. So once you've upgraded the fuse on the main IMA switchboard to at least 150 amps, you can consider something like this, which is the current hack board, and which gives you plus 30% current across the range, regen and assist. And it works very well with lithium iron packs, um, especially if they're suitable for higher current loads, which most will be and you get an instant extra oomph. So the actual lithium packs themselves, interfacing them to the car, um, is not a trivial job, and most lithium packs I would recommend should be fitted with a battery management system to detect individual cell voltages. But some of the more recent conversions have done that without having a BMS, which is okay if people are willing to take that, um, take that risk. And, um, but you're still going to need a couple of devices to help the car accept them. And this is the first device, this is the BCM Fooler. This is a resistor matrix which provides um, tap voltages perfectly matched for the battery control module, the BCM, OEM BCM in the car. And you basically just supply it with the voltage from your lithium pack. And you need to salvage the BCM tap connector wire, the orange wire from an old battery pack. And you have to solder those onto here. And then you have the two plugs which go into the MCM and the BCM. So that's a device I supply, you need that. And then we come to the BCM, in, BCM interceptor. And this device sits between the BCM and the MCM, intercepting a serial data stream and modifying it to ensure that the car will always allow full assist and full regeneration at uh, whatever temperature and whatever theoretical state of charge. Now this is controllable, has some inputs here, so if you do have a battery management system or you have some manual switches on the dashboard, you can disable and or enable assist or regen by pulling down or up these inputs here, or you can completely disable the IMA system so it doesn't assist or regenerate, um, depending on obviously the state of charge of your lithium pack. So just to quickly revise those again, so we have the OBD2 CNC device to, for general system information and manual IMA control. We have the circuit board required for IMA manual control to be fitted for the ECM. We have the current hack board for plus 30% current across the board. We have the BCM fooler to allow the um, BCM to accept the lithium pack and for it always to detect a perfectly balanced pack. And we have the BCM interceptor to allow the system to believe it has 75% state of charge at all times. 
allowing it to accept regen and give full assist whenever required. So they're the basic parts that you're going to need. I can sell you those individually. Some of these I have just the plain printed circuit boards for, and uh, some of these I come made up already. The IMA CNC, that comes ready made, as does the little joystick, they were made for me. The BCM interceptor is supplied ready made to avoid programming problems and issues with that. Uh, you can make the BCM fool aboard if you want, and you can make the current hack board if you want as well. So there are the devices I sell. If you need any further information, you need to look on the forum or email me directly to ask for the various PDF manuals which I've done for those. They are all on my signature. You can download them from the forum. They all are available to download on the forum uh, Insight Central. And questions and uh, comments should always be posted on Insight Central forum in the appropriate um, thread for the particular device that we're discussing. BCM Fooler, Current Hack, BCM Interceptor, IMA CNC, IMA CNC Joystick, OBD2 CNC. Hopefully you find that useful.